All right, a rocket weighing this much has an upward force. I'm going to draw a free body diagram for the rocket. So we have the upward force and we have the weight force. Notice these are not congruent forces. The up force is definitely bigger than the down force and because we are unbalanced. So it says how much time must the engine burn during the launch in order to reach the speed? So let's get the net force. That's going to be force up minus Fg. That's going to be 1.2 times 10 to the fifth. Now I'm going to do a little something with scientific notation here. Don't be alarmed. Minus 0 0.436 times 10 to the fifth. I'm going to leave you to figure this out. Okay. You explain what I did there. Uh, and so just to get that force, when I actually do that math, that's going to be 1.2 minus, hang on, 0 0.764 times 10 to the fifth, which is 7.64 times 10 to the fourth newtons as the launching speed. So here we go. Impulse momentum. Force times time. The total force acting on the rocket is this much and that's the net force that implies the impulse, that applies to the impulse. Equals mv final minus mv initial. This is zero because we start from rest. So we're going to get 7.64 times 10 to the fourth equals this is the weight, 4.36 times 10 to the fourth. So let's get the mass. If this is the weight, that equals mg. So 4.36 times 10 to the fourth equals m times 10. So the mass is 4.36 times 10 cubed kilograms. So this is 10 to the fourth. This is 4.36 times 10 cubed. There's a T here because I'm multiplying my T times the V, which is 860. So when we isolate and get T, um, we're going to end up getting quite a bit. Let's just see. Divided by. Forty nine point one seconds. All right. Now a golf ball that weighs forty five newtons. Whenever I give you that, don't even hesitate. So we know the weight is zero point forty five. So that the m is one tenth of that using weight equals mg. So I'm just going to isolate. M here just to have it around. So um, it says the assume the golf ball has a perfect elastic lift on the floor, bouncing all the way up to its original height. So a free body diagram of the ball smushed on the floor launching up. Since it's able to launch up, we know the normal force is bigger than the weight force. So we want to know the average force on the ball while it was on contact with the floor. We're going to use impulse momentum theorem, so let's be clear. FT equals mv final minus mv initial. I'm sorry, these should both be 4.5. So let's go ahead and do that. So um, the initial speed is negative 4.5 because it's down, and the final is plus 4.5 up. So we have f times scientific notation 0 0.1234 seconds equals the mass 0 0.045 times v final which is plus 4.5 minus 0 0.045 times negative 0 0.045. Some things are going to simplify. So I'm going to say f times 0 0.0004 equals I'm going to do a little bit of distributive property here and um, smush some terms together. 0 0.045 times 9, okay, 0, okay, right there. 
I'm going to make a little note to you. you know, sorry, this is yeah, point zero. Um, you must figure out the algebra. Go from here to here. So when I actually isolate f, by the way, I don't care how you get f. If you got it in a different way and you're right, I'm totally going to give you credit. So um, we end up getting for f I got 1,013 newtons. Now here, it says um, the ball hits the ground at 4.5 meters per second. I'm going to do a simple solution to this. EG equals EK. So MGH equals 1 half MV squared. This cancels. We drop from a height uh, 1 meter. So we get 10 times 1 equals 1 half times v squared. v squared equals 20. v ends up being 4.47, which rounds to 4.5 meters per second. So that's it for the momentum impulse problems. And in the very last part of the uh, practice test, um, actually, let's do one more part here, not practice test, homework. So sorry. Um, that's a decent hint, though, isn't it? All right, so now here. Um, these two things have a head-on collision. Which one experiences a greater force of impact? Neither. Okay. Um, the force on the truck due to the beetle equals negative the force on the beetle due to the truck due to Newton's third law. Which one experiences a greater change in momentum? Neither. Also by Newton's third law. This is trickier. Let me explain. The force on the truck due to the beetle equals negative the force on the beetle due to the truck. But here's the thing. They're in contact for the same amount of time. So if the impulse is the same, then the change in momentum is the same. Finally, which vehicle will have more damage? The smaller one. Okay. And it's simply because the force is the same. So let me just say this. Let me actually write this so you can read it. The smaller one because less mass but same force means more damage. All right, so that is the end of the impulse momentum problems. In the last part of the homework, we will take a look at the conservation of momentum problems.